Good morning, BGU. Good morning and welcome to the ceremony marking the establishment of the Center for Israel Studies and acknowledging the contribution and partnership of the Azrieli Foundation. It's the last day of the Board of Governors, so you might have already noticed that something Something is happening at BGU and in the Negev. That something is happening in Israel and around the world. David Ben-Gurion is back, definitely. Today, I can declare with confidence that thanks to Mali, and as Waze tells us, we have reached our destination. <laughs> our namesake David Ben-Gurion once said, ours is a country built on people not on a territory. The Jews will come from everywhere, from France, from Russia, from America, from Yemen. Their face is in their passport. Dana, you have made Aliyah from Canada, and Danny, you have made Aliyah from Australia. We know the Jewish people come to this country for many reasons. Some come to es escape hardship, some come when faced with anti-Semitism, and others, like you, make a choice to live a perfectly comfortable environment and make your home in Israel. For you, it was not enough just to live here. You have gone even farther and taken it upon yourself through the outstanding work of the Azraeli Foundation to invest and to promote this young country. We have gathered this uh, here this morning for a twofold mission, to thank and to share. To thank Dana and Naomi Azrieli and the Azrieli Foundation as a whole for identifying with our goals and allowing us to accomplish them. And to share with all of you what the Center for Israel Studies does in order to promote research on Israel and to revitalize the related public discourse, thus enabling Ben-Gurion University of the Negev to finally fulfill fully the commitment it took upon itself in the 1976 Ben-Gurion law or in Hebrew, the famous words, Lezichro ulefoalo shel David Ben Gurion ulanchalat morashto ledorot. Dana took the lead at the Israeli group, and I went into academia. But we always returned. We returned to the Negev together, hiking in the Zin Vadi and observing the ever-changing colors of the desert. I believe it is only this type of bonding that could have given birth to Mali. In Dana and the Azraeli Foundation staff, we found like-minded believers who understood instinctively that the Center for Israel Studies should indeed be based in the heart of the Negev and should be founded upon Ben-Gurion's legacy, his legacy and writings. My husband Danny and I are so proud to be here today representing the Azrieli Foundations. Um, from my perspective, it seems totally obvious that the Center for World Israel Studies should be, and in fact must be, in the Midrashid Ben Gurion in stable care. The fact that the Azrieli Foundation has been privileged enough to understand the incredible potential of Mali, the Israel Studies Center, early on in its process, because of my deep friendship with Paula, simply means that we got here sooner than later. But we would have gotten here one way or another. Because the mission of the Azraeli Foundation, at its very core, is about education in all forms in general, with a very special emphasis on Israel in particular. This mission to support education in Israel necessarily includes a commitment to an open dialogue on all subjects related to the development of Israel, past, present, and future. And our goal is to create a fertile environment for new ideas to help understand how the narrative of our country is changing and in assisting those who are truly interested in learning from the past in order to help shape its future. And it is an honor for the Azraeli Foundations to be part of this mission. Thank you very much.
Sophie.